Let's go. I'm better than ever, they never been better than I. Regarded the hardest, and I ain't even reaching my prime. They hate that I'm great, and they fake, and I'm real as they come. So sit back and let me show you how this shit is done. My composition, my propositions, I'm raping the system. I'm killing the competition, and all of y'all are my victims. Eyes and ooze as I'm ripping the instrumental. Lyrical individual, never been sentimental. I'm so hot every time I beat drop, and when I say I'm raping the system. All right, what's going on, boxing fans and gamers? Be back with another live comment. Your boy Fight Night's Finest coming at y'all with another Fight Night Champion online match. As you can see here, we already hit the 600 plus wins mark, top 500, and head to head. And honestly, I just wanted to get a live comp going on some of my thoughts while we're playing these matchups. Because, you know, getting back to basics, getting back to the roots, right? Because that's what we do. Kind of reminds me of the good. Good old fashioned live fight Friday days. Now our opponent, he's good if we're taking a look at his records, but from the psychological impact of the game, we know that don't mean nothing. So I think I wanna I think I wanna mainly fight technical, fight nice and slow this fight. And thankfully we can do it with Bishop behind volume punching. That's what I'm going to look to do. I saw a little bit, a little bit of an opening there to try to sidestep the, the jab. That's a quick counter. I think that's maybe that might be the, the game plan for this fight. I guess my opponent's quitting me. Play man. Could have been like a little uh, controller disconnect, right? I don't even need to throw that much this often. So we're gonna take this fight nice and slow, and I'm gonna find opportunities to just blitz with little two piece combos like there. Now, I may have not landed, but main thing is finding the right opportunity let's work this uh rocky stamina let's the door or our counters downstairs to the body early there we go there we go good jab should be a good round for us definitely more efficient there in terms of the amount of punches landed so Count up top. Pop. Pump the jab now. We're up on the scorecards right now. Turns it around. Trying to find a home for this left hook. I know how I love my left hook. There you go. Just out of range there. It's able to count over the top. So find that body. Gonna throw now. Oh, okay. He's stalking now. Might be looking to apply more pressure here, so we're gonna chill. Okay, he's waiting for the counter now. So, in order to combat that, how to create little opportunities like bait him into some stuff and look to counter efficiently. Now we have some opportunities there. Just can't seem to find the right distance. Okay, get the counter back. Here it comes. Here's the counter. Another one now. Ooh. But I have his timing now. Now. And now those body uppercuts are weak with Marciano, so I'm not really worried about that. Bishop has more stats. These body shots, so I'm gonna look for trade there. Now, the one thing I don't want to do with Bishop is kind of overwork. Because his stamina isn't as good as Rocky. So, you can probably tell already from my recovery. It's not going to be 100%. There we 
There we go. Good power shots up top. Had a couple of jabs, but I think I was. I think it was more efficient. So 97%. Gonna ease off the gas a bit this round. Try to be more efficient. To keep saying I want to fight a slower pace. too much to match his value oh there it is now when he's going my body there I'm looking to trade up a pet I know when he's coming in, that's why I keep doubling up on the straight. Here it is. Push him off me. Now, I don't mind eating that jab there. So I'm going to create counter opportunities for myself. That was a good uppercut to the head. He responded well to the body. Oof. I sat in the pocket too long here. Jab. Jab. Up. Jab again. Up. Jab. Uppercut this time. Uppercut again. All good scoring shots for me. And mostly defense. Trying to see if I can get this jab rolling again. counter I don't mind eating the uppercut in return that was a good scoring shot for me power shot power shot all good power shots there in the corner the uppercut was a power shot the left hook was a power shot 93% head into 4 not bad not bad not bad at all alright He hasn't really adapted well in terms of trying to have an answer for what it is that we're doing offensively. So, let just keep it chill. Keep it chill. That's all we got to do is keep it chill. This is good because now he's going to release that psychological impact seeing he lost all three rounds. Maybe he's trying to really assess things. Okay, two punches land there. There's the counter. Back to basics now. Tuck up good defensively here. There's the counter. There's the counter again. That one got blocked though. Just looking for most of the scoring shots now. That was a bad trade. The headshots there. Step my way out the corner. A little bit of offense while I'm at it. Power straight trade there. Another power straight lands. Counter the body. So I am going to start looking to target the body a bit more. So I don't want him coming back. And as I can already tell, I'm losing. I'm not going to have 100% stamina. So. Good low head trades. It's counter downstairs again. When he's missing, that's when I'm trying to target my counters. There it is. Body jab, jab and power straight. That was a good round for us. Another good round. 
Now that was a great recovery. Efficient. Didn't waste too much of anything. Back up to 96% stamina, 14% recovery. Less is less is more, chat. Less is more. I've been saying that for a while. But that's that's the vibe that we're trying to give off. Is just constantly try to do less. Think about what we're doing. Think about how we want to counter. And really pick the correct shots to punish what he's doing on the inside. Now he's he's watching every round, which is fine. But this is only going to build for his frustration for later. So I'm going to remain patient here. And he has the outside. Interesting to start going high low with the jabs and the straights. And now I'm just going to land my big shots. Have the counter ready there. So counting the body. He's gonna try to increase the offense. Don't really care about losing the round as long as I'm impacting his stamina bar. It's the counter. Need uppercut. Lead up a cut again, throw the right hook behind it. Let's trade. You want to find a good opportunities to counter. Some of them still aren't landed. Definitely be all him this round. Going to my body, I got some for you. I have, I don't have 96% stamina for no reason, right? Close the round, solid. But that, that potentially was a round he got. All right, this round's slow. All right. Man, it's catching me with this straight. Short shots. Something about Bishop also, sometimes it's like he can't block more than two shots. Hook up top. Straight. Hmm. Get the double straight on the way in. I didn't need to go with a, a wild little overhand like that. I need to keep the shot short. There it is. All right, I'm burning stamina at a good rate now, so I don't mind. 
counter. It's the counter. Alright, I'm gonna look the counter a lot more this round. Switch to a more outside style. Sitting in the pocket too much. Doubling up on that straight. And clench in there, get a little bit of space going. Double hooks up top, not bad. Hmm. I should have won lead up a cut there. Like that. Using too much head movement. Uppercut, jab straight. Double uppercut again. Just a single uppercut sometimes. He's still targeting my body, so I'm just throwing like the jab to blind him. And I'm just looking for short shots. A double straight sometimes is, is, is really useful too. All right, so somehow he even got the last round, so I need this round. So I'm gonna really make sure I, I throw enough here to win the round. Yeah, I'll go on defense after this. Shots only. Stop around here. That's a good trade for me. It's a left hook again. Uppercut. Uppercut. Jab right hook. One, two, three. Double jab, double jab again. Burning a lot of stamina here, but it's fine. Right. That's definitely mine. All good boxing, good angles. I'm just trying to always be annoying, throw something out there. I'm just picking my shots based on my angles. There it goes, counter to the head. You know how I love my left hooks. Again, left hook. Throw the jab in the left hook this time, short. Counter jab. Okay, I want a straight back here. Is straight. Straight again. Jab. Right hook to the body. And it was coming with the left hook up top. All right. So that was definitely my round. Outlanded him for sure. Doesn't matter. But even if he has 100% stamina, he didn't hit me enough that round. So now I got to do now is play good defense. Don't get knocked down. And we got this in the bank. Back to trying to be as efficient as possible. So at this point, I don't really care if I lose the next two rounds. As long as I don't get knocked down, it's fine. So I know we're going to be in the pocket, so all my shots going to be either hooks or uppercuts this round.
I'm gonna go double hook to the body here. Yeah, the same idea. Again, double hook to the body, very basic. Left uppercut to the head, right hook to, right uppercut to the body. Little right uppercut to the body. Double hooks to the head. That was a good count on his part. Short shot. Actually took a good here. I'm winning around actually. Nope. Not there for that. Double hooks to the body again. Scores well. Double hooks to the head. Right uppercut left hook. Left uppercut right hook. Double hooks. Double hooks again. Double hooks again. <laughs> Lead up a cut. So that's how you mix up your your hooks and your uppercuts and low high low mix ups. It's like he's not going anywhere, so might as well just use my inside punches. This round just gonna be annoying and keep looking for opportunities to tie up. There's a counter up top. Good way to start the round. Kind of left hook up top as well. Double hooks to the body. Oh. Oh. Alright, this guy's cooked. Oof. That could be bad. Defense first. Punch up, uppercut, clinch again, get him to throw more. So can't, oh my god, I got hold that, I got hold by EA there. hit me that I was I was definitely going down but yeah uh, that was a good fight that was a damn good fight felt like I was always in a lot of danger that fight it's one of those things that you got to deal with when you're playing against Rocky even though we won the majority of those rounds you just never know sometimes it only took one shot there and it could have been bad but got the job done this was more on the chill side of things if y'all enjoyed the video, please like the video. Leave a thoughts in the comment section below. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.